Hey y'all, what's going on? Okay. So y'all already know this is a direct upload, so this mother is probably scooting, booting, booging, and stopping and shit before I can even get started. So, yeah, <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. I have had it up to her with motherfucking news stories, okay? With just the absolute fuckery that's just going on in the world, Jesus. So, I think it was earlier this week, and I, I well, I told y'all that. I, I've been watching Sweet Addiction TV for a long time. And so, she never ceases to amaze me here lately with, well, period, with her, like, ran videos and stories and things like that that she runs into. So, the first one that had me like, what the fuck, was apparently it was a woman who apparently squares her man's nuts until it popped out of the sack. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what the fuck? I mean, these are just what the fuck moments. Like, who... You just... I mean, I don't know that, I mean, okay, worst case scenario, you mad and shit, a motherfucker's trying to do something to you, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? And then you decide, you know what I mean, you trying to get a motherfucker off of you, and y'all tussling and shit, going, you know, you biting, scratching, kicking, and, you know, going through your whole shit, okay? But... Like, and, and I'm the first one to say, to get a motherfucker up, up off of me, I don't give a fuck, you gotta bite the eye out. But literally just feel the ball pop. Just, I mean, you know, it's another way to get a motherfucker off of you, but Jesus, how you gotta be like, motherfucker, you gotta be looking that way, doing that, I don't know. That shit fucked me up. And just when I thought that was enough, today, I was watching her in, um, and I guess I should bring my voice down because y'all know this shit will get the sound of distorted or whatever. Uh, so apparently some man slow cooked his wife. Now this is the way she said the story went. Okay. That, uh, now why would I get this dark ass? See y'all, you know, when you getting makeup and shit, just a side note. On that, now what the fuck? I can't work. I don't think I can work any of this concealer. I was just trying and it was new. Anywho, so apparently his wife was on drugs and she was doing all kinds of wrong shit. And so that, um, so he could make her stop or keep her from doing shit, he bound her up and shit, you know, and tied her hand and shit. So the next day he wakes up and she ain't moving and this motherfucker gets nervous like, baby, uh, babe, but you know, like, what the fuck? I done killed her. This motherfucker, the first thing comes to his mind, besides the fact that he should be grief struck in and all of that. And even if she died from him tying her that way because she couldn't breathe, you iron son of a bitch. Then you decide in your own motherfucking mind that you're going to go to your restaurant and just, well, I'm going to put eight pounds of grease in her and, and put her in there and slow cook her for the next few days. You just gonna cook a bitch. Just cook a bitch. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is on people's minds. Do humanity just step out of them? How do you, first of all, tie your wife up and do that? And then you go to sleep like it ain't nothing. Bitch, I think you was fucked up too. And, 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 and you probably was the one that was fucked up and you tied her up. Who knows if she was on drugs or anything. You might just been a nasty bitch and just tied your wife up. But then on top of that, who thinks, oh Lord, I'm going to just, okay, I'm going to just cook this bitch. Because at least if I boil the bitch, you know, 
that's pretty much it. Maybe they won't find her. But then he took her skull and, and he burned the bones behind the restaurant from what Candace was saying. And and then took the skull to the mama's house and hid it somewhere there. And then when they caught his ass, he is this is somewhere in California, he jumps off some shit. Y'all know what I wanna know. Why a motherfucker would Excuse me, y'all. Bitch, you don't even look part. Y'all got a habit of looking at motherfuckers to see what the fuck they doing. Anywho, so he jumps off 80 stories or something I don't remember. Thinking he gonna kill himself, but no. It wasn't gonna work like that. His ass is still alive. He gave his statement. Candy said he gave his statement. And she's like, well, he gonna be his ass in court in a wheelchair getting his sentence. Now who, who uh, y'all uh, what the hell I'm a fight? You know, like where in the hell they do that shit at? Y'all don't know what's wrong with people. I really don't. Like, for real. Clearly God done told y'all this shit's coming to an end. And I ain't even gotta keep on saying that, do I? This shit's coming to a damn end. Then, uh, one of my loves sent me a story, which I thought was extreme, you know, really sad. Now, I do have the link for that story. The other ones, like I said, I watched uh, Sweet Addiction TV, and it was just some stories that she was talking about, and I absolutely, absolutely adore her channel. And, um, but I do have this, a link to this story, which was on CNN, I believe. Um, the lady who married her daddy... But then find out until he was gone. I mean, I okay. I you know, and I tried at first before I actually read it. I was like, ain't no way in the world. How you gonna not know? But then when I thought about it, you know, if people are hiding, and then she, you know she was lied to about who her mother was and this and that and other and all of this. I guess it would be easy for that to happen. He didn't even know that. You know what I mean? And vice versa. But my whole thing is, the uncle finally said it, but if y'all even seen it, remotely, uncle, when you first seen something was going on, why didn't you tell her? This is what I don't understand, this whole contemplating thing. You know what I mean? Like, should I? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. You know what I mean? And apparently, this has happened, you know, more times than we know with different people. And this is why you need to know who your parents are you know I have some idea you know what I mean I know the children get adopted and this and that and other but that is not cool she didn't marry her daddy and she you know her and her daddy touching pee pee's and things I, mm -mm. and I you know to me the uncle and the family when they knew from the gate should have said something it's absolutely ridiculous that they would let this shit go on as long as they did you know what I'm saying like well shit maybe I shouldn't say nothing at what point do you rationalize that in your head and say should I tell them I mean, they want your in. Shit, might as well let them. I mean, if you wasn't going to say it, which is terrible to not say it, then why say it all, at all? Even, you know, if he's dead or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get that. I don't get that. I, I really don't. Mm -mm. I don't think it's cool. You should know who your parents are. At least know your family's lineage. You know what I'm saying? Just, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. I'm going to tell you. I really don't know. And it's like... <sighs> Sometimes I wonder how people do rationalize things in their head when they come up with plans or they do things or they leave things out or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, what? what, what who? Like, for real, who does that shit? Like, you actually let them be married. And then I think somebody else sent me a story where a young lady was taking her. This is a completely different story. Was taking her, the guy she had just met to meet her family. When she got in there, they hurried up and grabbed her and rushed her in another room to tell her, that's your daddy. You know. 
and she, you know, and I'm trying to think, was this the Steve, somebody sent me and was saying that Steve Harvey was talking better or something like that, I think. But it's like, she was like, but we still in love with each other. Girl, wait a minute now, wait a minute. Now, you got told as soon as they said it to you. But you still like, yes, we still love each other. And we have this yearning, girl, for your daddy. Uh-uh, something wrong with her because she's all ready to do some ancestral shit. That's a whole nother story. Because as soon as her family found out, they told her. And they had to tell him. And what's this whole thing? Y'all, listen, I cannot stand. My husband watches this shit. When, when, as soon as he gets home, you have it on DVR. You are not. That Maury shit. And them bitches getting on there talking about Maury. I'm six billion nine hundred ninety nine point nine percent point zero slash a hundred percent sure that Daquan is the father of my child. And this bitch done been to Maury ten times. Ah, uh, and then when they find out it ain't the daddy, there they go running, there they go. Taking off running and shit. Why would you even shame yourself? Bitch, how could you be screwing that much that you don't even have an idea? How can you have six motherfuckers sitting in chairs waiting to hear whether they are the father of your child? You know what I mean? Anything outside of like, you know, of course, if you were attacked or something, but you have no idea? You know? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. What's wrong, Bougie? What is it, babe? Hey, Bougie. I'm just saying, this whole bit with you are not, and you know, it'll be 700 motherfuckers up there, and I'm 6 billion, 900, minus, double Q, 8. Rewind to so long because I made a potato. Ah, oh, okay. Was it sure that I'm doing a video? Sure, I'm talking about. I can't say nothing in the video. Yeah, you can't say hi. Hey, you said like I can't Wait, say Wait, don't sit down. Give me a cigarette. Man, I was just telling you, cause you might get on her and be flagellant or something. Okay. And she would let her flagellants be on sure YouTube. Mm mm. Y'all, this is wonderful. If you want to monitor your water intake. Get you one of these. I think I got it from Walmart. Fill it up twice. That's my intake for my water. Anywho. So, I don't get how you don't know who your, who, you know, who the kid's father are. At least have an inkling. And even if you were sleeping with two guys, girl, don't you know when you laid up? You know, and I'm like... What was it? My cigarette. Oh, Lord. Anywho. They took five out of the back. My oh, one child. I rebuke both of them in the name of Jesus. Okay. Because if they leave their cigarette packed out, it's a wrap. It's done. Yeah. So, how do you not know? Anywho. So, she was married to her daddy. Oh, bless her. No, the, one, the girl was married to her own daddy. I know. And then the uncle. Have you seen that story on Facebook? No. Then the uncle gonna tell her, but apparently he knew the whole time. Why uh, didn't he tell her when they was yeah, waiting till he's dying? So I died. Come on, I can't. Mm mm. I can't do it. No, it wasn't on purpose, though. You don't keep it. Uh uh. You and your daddy touching peepees? No. Anywho. Another one. Somebody has sent me y'all a world star hip hop special. Now, this one wasn't sent. Miss Rosa did a video on this, and it's this young girl at school. And she's all up in this young guy's face, talking, you know, talking her stuff, put your hands on me, this and that and other. He keeps telling her to go on and go on and get away. And she's like, no. Nah. And at one point, she walks away, and he calls her a bitch. She comes back and hits him, and he kicks her ass. Now, here's my question to y'all. I mean, I understand. The whole thing of men should not put their hands on women. But I'm telling y'all that this girl, he kept asking her to leave. She was this close to his face, just kept on. And then he called her bitch. She came back and hit him. At one point, what was he supposed to do? What did y'all feel like he was supposed to do? 
you know, I'm, I just feel like she campaigned and got her motherfucking ass elected. I mean, you cannot do that to anybody. And even if it's girl on girl or guy on guy. You know what I mean? It's certain shit. If you do it, know your ass is going to get motherfucking elected. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, oh, child. Y'all went to Kroger's and me and Brittany and Kroger's. Okay? And the bitch, the cashier bitch, and before y'all say much love, every time you go ask somebody to do something. Well, they do. You think I'm kidding, but y'all forget I'm in raggedy ass Kentucky. Okay? So, I'm getting my shit because Kroger's is having a good 10 for 10 sale. And Brittany's with me. I'm sick and she's going and, you know, and helping me. Okay. So, we get the shit. Now, here's the normal circumstances when you go to Kroger's. Now, y'all, Kroger's has the Kroger's Plus card. I don't know how many of y'all have a Kroger's. And normally it is, hi, do you have a Kroger's Plus card? This bitch mugging. From the get, this bitch ain't said hi. Do you got a Kroger's Plus? Uh, have a good day. Hello. Nothing. This bitch. So she's in there mugging and shit, mad and shit. Got the, got a mu got a motherfucking hair braided in the front with a short ass mushroom. I mean, the bitch was just angry and ugly. Because she was just frowning the whole time. And I'm like, how you doing? You know, like, bitch, when you going to even ask me, do I have a Kroger's Plus card? Okay, so Brittany's putting the shit on there. And she's putting the stuff out of the cart. And then the stuff out of my little riding cart thing. Okay. And this bitch is like, I'm like, um, she can just put the number in because I didn't have the card with me. This bitch don't say shit. I'm looking at this bitch and this bitch is looking at me and like she ain't saying shit like fuck you bitch. Just put your shit up there and I'm like oh uh, can she? Okay. So when that shit go down Brittany punches the shit in and she's being polite and all that and I'm kind of like I'm just looking at this point like oh lord. I'm thinking in my head this bitch is really going to make me get at her because this is my motherfucking money bitch. I'm in her paying and ain't my motherfucking fault you checking okay and so then it was like i asked something else and the bitch was still she wasn't answering i'm like um uh honey you know and this bitch is mugging and shit and finally honey she made me motherfucking mad and i was like i ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with you working here you and your motherfucking raggedy ass mushroom where i do you know i'm just mad at this bitch and I just, and Brittany's like, so me and Brittany in the car, Brittany's like, Mama, what you said was right, and she was being armory. But you sick, now what if she would have did something to you? If, I'm, if I say, first of all, I don't know who my daughter thought she was with that day. I don't give a fuck what's going on with my leg or anything else. Motherfucking hands work, and I don't need my kids to get in shit. So she's like, if that woman would have did anything, then I would have had to get a nod. Nah, you wouldn't have. You'd have had to get your ass out of the way. Because if I'm talking to this bitch. Oh, listen, there she go again. My whole thing, she could have. And I would have hit that bitch with everything in that car. Well, okay, so what? I had I got pneumonia. I still would have bit that bitch or something. Shit, I'd have bit that bitch, honey. I wouldn't give a fuck if I had to get a nail foul and foul that whore. Shit. And she's like, Mama, you just can't because you ain't feeling well. And I would have had to get her. No, she wouldn't have. You know, I, I don't get it. Motherfuckers think they can treat you any kind of motherfucking way. Like, this bitch was extremely rude. This bitch. And what made it even bad, the bitch who was bagging was the motherfucking manager. Tell me Kentucky ain't fucked up, y'all. That's why I be going off all the motherfucking time when I go some damn where. It's always a bitch waiting. Mm. Y'all, and again, it's some more old random shit. Let me see. What else? I, I know what. Well, I had some wind. But she wasn't going to watch shit. 
Mama, you ain't you don't have enough wind to go around. Two minutes, you don't have enough. So what? I got okay, you can and I got a heel without being out of breath. So what makes you think you gonna go out in and out? Well, okay, but I still would have that superhero shit would have no, got I wouldn't been. have. Yeah, well, I had even had a cardiac arrest trying to. You know, well, the bitch probably but I had pneumonia. So what? It's not just about you when you go out. Though. Okay, well, I wasn't trying to put you in it. You was I you did. I did. Whether you want to or not, mm -hmm. you do got to pay. I could pay that bitch. That she was being a rotten bitch. Now say she wasn't being she rotten. Very angry. Ooh. And cause I'm sick, she I gotta let a bitch. Huh? Lady, was it the first time she ain't got no wind? Yeah, she's gonna let the Kroger bitch get out. She I'm don't have no wind. It don't matter if she wanted to or not. Well, I'm getting my, my lungs is getting better from the antibiotics. I'm going back to Kroger. What's the lady look like? It don't matter what she looks like. I'm just trying to see. I've been in there before. She short, got glasses. Oh, man. The old lady? No. She's in y'all age range. Probably a little bit younger than y'all. So the bitch called me while I was sick, y'all. My whole thing is if you can't walk up the steps without being in there, you're not gonna be in a fight. Period. Period. And ain't nobody gonna stop because you out of breath. They're gonna keep on. And going. I'm not gonna ask the bitch maybe to stop because I'm out of breath. Maybe even harder because they see you out of breath. Well, that's okay. And don't keep me from biting What's her. She, head. To? she was just an army bitch. She didn't say anything. Uh, she she wouldn't ask any questions. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's all right. It's okay. She's working. She's doing her job regardless of Did I have my purse? I just had my keychain. My whole thing was. Yeah, I didn't have my purse. Y'all couldn't cut them. You with somebody. She put a hand on your mama, then you got a problem. Exactly. You don't have no she problem because she ain't saying that. It's just about her. Brennan said the same thing. She's not seeing where I'm coming from. Apparently, we just the only rational thinking people. She what else? Off, and you think I'm going to sit there and watch somebody fight you, and I know you think I'm going to try killing that Kroger store. Yeah, well, y'all, maybe she's right on that, that, but I wasn't thinking about body. that. <laughs> Okay, I'm a little sick now, and I didn't have my purse, but if I would have had my purse, I could have stabbed her ass. If you were sick or not, I was going to put hands on her. Let me ask you something. What was you going to stab her for? Nothing. Because she didn't say nothing to you. No, she was being a man. No, I would have stabbed her if she tried to fight me. She didn't say nothing to the lady. The lady didn't say nothing to my mama. was actually being the one that was being belligerent. And I'm pretty. Yeah. You see that? You see that? No, not really. Oh, put, get this stuff. Move out of the way, Brittany, because... She, I'm going to have to do something to this woman. She said that. The lady I wasn't even saying nothing to her. She was still frowning. But you just said she was armory. She wasn't asking She was armory. It don't matter what you said. You was out the way. I'm going to have to do something to this woman. If she would have said, you ain't going to do nothing to me, lady, then here we go. No, she was armory. She was armory. But the lady didn't say nothing to her. My whole point, mom was the one that directed everything towards her. Yeah. Well, it ain't my fault she working in Kroger's with the little mushroom and Bob. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, but see, she did say she she went. I was asking her simple, polite questions. Sorry, what did she say? Nothing. She didn't. She didn't answer. She just looked she like. Didn't bitch, she I ain't got to answer. She you know, kind of. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Well. That's all right. My 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 shit's getting better. Yeah, she just having a bad day. Which you're not supposed to show it at work. That's how it goes. Okay. But sometimes yeah, it happens like that because I've had a slight attitude or not. But you got to check yourself. That's why you have to check yourself yeah. in the checkout line. And that's what you should name that video. Check yourself in, in the, the checkout, checkout line. line. Yes. I still say if I'd have had my purse and she just try to put her hands on me, I was going to cut her motherfucking ass. You ain't going to cut her. I wasn't going to let you cut her. I wasn't going to let you go to jail. Honey, I was going to whoop that woman, beat her head all into that uh, okay. fire code. Y'all don't Try think I raised every... my child to be no, violent. No, you my mom, and I think anybody would do the same for their mother. <coughs> but <coughs> she was being on me. And I was trying to calm you down. Did you say that? Yes, I did. I was trying to get her to be quiet, but no, she want to continue. Once it starts, it is what it is. No, it ain't, because you ain't okay. thinking. Okay, well, whatever. She shouldn't have been rude. Anywho. So, y'all. What she don't know is... I had to. Anyway, y'all, so this was just some random ass shit. Me wanting to come in here and kiki with y'all a little bit and uh, <coughs> say hey and just talk about some fuckery that I that I witnessed or whatever. And uh, y'all, somebody sent me a picture of the lady off of Miami Holes. The mama, she was cute. What the hell? Y'all, she has been mutilated. She needs her money back. 
She did she deliberately go out getting mutilated? I don't know, y'all. Anywho, I still say the woman was being rude. I'm asking her polite questions. And she just being angry for nothing. And so what? I'm sick if I'd have had my purse. I'd have had to cut her ass. Anywho. So, y'all, I didn't want nothing in particular just to kind of come in here and kiki with y'all. I will get y'all help a sister out. I know y'all waiting on it. Oh. I've just been kind of doing some things around the house and kind of trying to do some things around the house. I've been kind of laid up and trying to get better. God is good because it is trying to clear up. It doesn't hurt as much on my side and in my back or whatever. And today, my temperature is like down to 99. So it had been staying at like 100. So, you know, things are getting better. So, God willing, they're getting better. So I'm out of here, y'all. Much love. I'm getting my hair. Was supposed to... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who this is out here. I was supposed to get my hair done at uh, 12 o'clock, but I got to go um, Sunday, which kind of made me mad to get my hair sold in and everything. And I wish to God I trusted my uh, U part making abilities because I wouldn't even be fooling with it. You know, but I am. This is my daughter and my husband, really. And she's going to laugh like that the whole time. Oh, God. I'm out of her, y'all. Much love. You don't understand.